Welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another special pen for review, and this is a full unboxing and review. So as you can see here, this is a Visconti box. Yes, I know another Visconti box, but let me open this box. It's quite a substantial box, as a lot of the Visconti boxes tend to be. And then it has... If I get it out slightly there, this is a Visconti cloth drawstring bag. And you'll see there Visconti, Firenze, the writing renaissance. So let me try and remove this box from this bag. And you will see the Visconti Daedalus. And this is a really nice pen. This is a pen that I've been looking at for a long time to possibly add to my collection, but also to review as well. And for me, I had this opportunity more recently in 2020. And this is on review from Michael at Manuscript Pens. And Manuscript are the UK distributor for Visconti. But you can see here it has this very lovely glossy box and you can see there the lights of my studio. But let me open the box and I will show you that this is the pen. So this is a very very gorgeous looking pen. So what is it about this pen? So Visconti took inspiration from the myth and the ancient Greek mythology. Daedalus was a craftsman and artist in Greek mythology who had two sons, Icarus and Iapix. He is best known as the creator of the labyrinth, a huge maze located under the court of King Minos of Crete, where the Minotaur, a half-man, half-bull creature, dwelled. The Daedalus uses Visconti's well-known skeleton technique and the sterling silver filigree is hand-cut and overlaid to show the famous labyrinth and also the head of the Minotaur on the pen's body. The process to hand chisel and finish each pen takes several days and the final result is truly a work of art. The translucent blue resin has been specially developed by Visconti experts and includes sterling silver dust to give the effect of the star-draped sky overseeing the labyrinth landscape. And it's very difficult to see, but you may just see there that there is some sterling silver dust within that blue resin. You'll also see that the Visconti clip and logo on the cap featuring a matching royal blue enamel as well. So this really is a nice looking pen. I do like themed pens, clearly, because I have a lot of these. And I do like this Visconti. And it's a pen that I have been looking at for quite some time. I decided I wouldn't pick this up because I actually have another pen in my collection that uses this same sort of silver dust blue resin which is the Visconti Opera Master and that is the Luna which was a Goulet exclusive but I've always been lusting after this one and a friend uh, has uh, picked one of these up somewhat recently and I really do like the look of it and I do like these filigree overlays as well and you can just see there the, the detail that goes into that labyrinth there is, is quite nice and I just love these overlays and you can see there it says Daedalus with the Minotaur's horns and it just is a nice pen. Now this is made of sterling silver, the filigree overlay, and it is actually quite a light pen, uh, mainly because the main body or and the cap of the pen is made of resin and the overlay is actually not 
encompassing a huge amount or huge proportion of the pen itself. But I'm actually quite surprised at how light this pen is. So you'll see on there that you actually, instead of the Visconti My Pen Finial or even just a Visconti Cap Finial, you actually have the Labyrinth there. And then on the edge here, you will see, if I can get it around the right way, that it's 165 of 388. So there are only 388 of these pens made worldwide. So that in itself is actually quite amazing. Now, if I just sort of zoom in a little bit more here to the cap, you'll see that in some areas on that blue resin, it does look as though there are some scratches there, but they are not scratches. They are actually either part of the cap mechanism or there are some very faint white swirls that adorn this pen. And you can sort of see it there as well, that you get these sort of white sort of really, maybe not even swirls, but you can see it there as well on the body. You get these just little white marks uh, within that resin along with obviously the sterling silver dust that is impregnated within that blue resin. So this is sterling silver or AG925 silver uh, which is effectively the same. Uh, this also is a power vac filling mechanism and it comes with a standard number six size Visconti nib. So let me unscrew the pen and you'll see this here that this has a Visconti medium nib there and that is a 23 cap palladium nib but this is really nice and you have the double reservoir there as well and it is a power vac filler so all you do is you unscrew the back here you pull the knob out like so and then you push it back in again and that's how it creates a vacuum and fills up the pen. So for me, I like this pen a lot. So if I zoom out a little bit there, you'll see the pen in the size of my hand. Now, the cap itself is quite translucent as well. So you can actually see through the cap a little bit. Now, can you post the cap? you can post the cap and it actually posts quite securely but as you see there it does become a little bit of a wand so for me that's not something that i'd like to do a lot but it is a actually quite a nice size pen and i do like it i like all kinds of overlays it's just something that i do like a lot so for me this is actually quite a a nice looking pen uh, i think what we'll do is we'll do a size check we'll do a weight check and then we'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample so the length of the pen is 147 millimeters in length and the length of the cap is about 69 millimeters so it's actually quite a long cap now if i unscrew the cap and then i will do another measurement here and we are looking at around about 136 millimeters in length so this is actually quite a long pen and it is an oversized pen now we'll do a weight check now the weight of the pen bearing in mind that this is a sterling silver filigree or overlay is just under 57 grams in weight now the weight of the cap is just under 25 grams and then the weight of the pen is just under 25 and a half grams so as you can see that is actually quite 
a heavy weighted pen including the cap as you can see though this pen really is quite nice so I'm really glad that I've been able to review this pen and unbox it for you today and this just for me is an amazing pen now I did say that I have another pen that is actually made of the same material and that material is this one which is the Visconti Opera Master Luna so if I show you the material here you will be able to see that that material is pretty much the same excluding the overlay obviously that is on that Visconti Daedalus but in terms of the size of the pen you'll see that it is actually a little bit shorter than a Visconti Opera Master but this is a material and you can see maybe a little bit more here that sort of silver dust in that blue resin on the Opera Master there because you don't have that filigree you can still see it more on this pen but with that filigree overlay it is a little bit more difficult to be able to see that but this is a pen that I really do like the look of so I can see why a number of people have actually contacted me and said about the Daedalus because it is a nice pen uh, and you can see there that, that Minotaur head is actually with its horns there is actually quite pronounced as well so I think let's do a comparison with other pens so from left to right we have the Visconti Euphysi we have the Visconti Istos Arachnus we have the Visconti Belgica we have a Visconti Ecstasy Deud we have a Visconti Opera Master Luna we have the Visconti Daedalus we have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Swirl we have a Visconti Luxor Obelisk we have a Visconti St Basil and last but not least we have a Visconti Last Templar Jacques de Molay so let's do a writing sample this is the Visconti Daedalus and it is a medium 23 carat palladium nib now this is a Visconti medium which can sometimes actually write a little bit like a sort of western broad nib it's actually quite a wet nib now the ink in here today is Visconti blue which is a really nice blue that I like a lot now in terms of line variation this is a medium nib now I can press the nib a little bit more and get a little bit more line variation out of it and you can see a little bit more of that line variation there and then you'll see that the line is really more of a medium line now in terms of wetness let's do a horizontal pass of ink and then we'll do a vertical pass as you can see that this is actually quite a very wet nib and I do like fire hose nibs I do like very wet nibs so for me this is actually quite a nice nib so what do I like about this pen and what do I not like about the pen I love that it's a Visconti I do love Visconti pens I love that it's an overlay, it's a sterling silver or AG925 filigree overlay and I like the length of the pen and I like the weight of the pen. I also like how that nib writes, that nib for a 23 cap palladium nib, it's not necessarily a very bouncy nib, it's probably only about 25% bouncy but it's a nib that I like, I do like the 23 cap palladium nibs and it is a medium nib and I tend to like more medium nibs of late and what do I not like about the pen well there really isn't a lot about the pen that I don't like it's a power vac filler it holds around two and a half millilitres of ink and it's a really nice looking pen 
So for me, I like the pen. I'd like to thank Michael from Manuscript Pen Company for loaning me this pen for review. Manuscript Pens are the UK distributor for Visconti. And I'd like to thank Michael again for loaning me this pen. And you can visit Manuscript Pens at manuscriptpen.com. So that's my review of the Visconti Daedalus. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.